Welcome to it's Rafiq. In this video, I am going to explain about character arrays. You already know about string ar uh, integer arrays. There we can store a set of integers. Now, here I am going to discuss about character arrays or strings where we can store a set of characters. Suppose I have a character array that name is C H A R character and the name is city and i have given the sizes 8 means it can store 8 characters and it can store 8 characters <coughs> and uh, i am giving the values as within curly braces within single inverted comma g then comma again single inverted comma u comma w comma a comma h a then ti again comma t comma again inverted comma i so i have Initialize the character arrays Guwahati and here how many character I have stored G1, U2, W3, A4, H5, A6, T7, I8. So 8 characters. Now I have given semicolon to terminate the statement. Now simply if we want to display the outcome display the output of the array then we can write for character array uh, arrays or strings put p u t s puts puts and within simple bracket we'll write the name of the array this is city and it's semicolon Now we can run the program. So you can see here Guwahati. Now what if we want the array in uh, reverse order means the i should be at last and g should be at first. Or oh, i should be at la uh, first and g should be at last. So how we can do that? For that we are going to use for loop. For that we need one more variable that is integer index and we'll initialize it as zero if we use while loop and if we don't use while loop then we are going to use we are going to use uh, just index suppose i am going to use while loop so index equal zero now semicolon i will write here and just to display the array we can write this one while index less than 8 then within curly braces we will write printf statement and there we are going to write percent %c here we are going to display character so instead of d we are writing c and the value will be available in ct within square bracket index now after displaying one character we have to increment the value of index so we will write index plus plus then again semicolon <coughs> mm -hmm. 
Now we can run the program. Let's see. You can see Guwahati. Now let's reverse the array. How we will reverse? We can write instead of 0 here 8. And the condition will be while index greater than equal to 0. And here actually we uh, the size of the array is always minus 1. So we have to give us 7. And here we will write index greater than equal to 0. And instead of plus plus we will give minus minus. That means what? We are starting the array from 7th index. Like city 7 will be at first. Then city 6 and this way it will go on. Now let us run. You can see now my output is in reverse order. Now what if I want to display both together? Oh, this also we can do. We can declare another array and we can store all the values here. So now suppose I need only the odd places number. I do not require all the characters. I need only the odd places character. That means I have to display it as G, W, H like that. So how we can do that? For it just we have to do one thing. Uh, before this printf statement we are going to write one if statement. So we will write if here we will write index equal to if we need only the odd places then we will write modulus 2 equal to 1 and this printf will be little bit in right hand side because uh, we are going to write this printf inside if statement then index minus minus now let's see what will be the output now you can see the output is i a a u that means We are displaying it reverse order, so we will get this. Now, if we display it in, let us remove the while loop. Suppose I want to display the array, uh, display the characters in event places. So, how we will do? We can use for loop also. For, we will write here index equal 0 and here we are removing the value of index then index less than 8 and each time index plus plus and inside the for loop we will write the print of statement here we, we will write percent %c and the location will be city and within square bracket index. Now I have not written any if statement inside this for loop so we are going to see the complete string that is Guwahati. Let us run the program. So you can see. Now suppose I need only the even places. So what we will do? Before the printf we are going to write one if statement. So we will write if then we will write index equal modulus 2 equal 1 and it's now we will see only u a a like that let's see so u a a i 
if i need the odd places then what we will do we will just make it zero now let's see you can see we have another method without writing if statement also we can do so let's see it removing the statement if statement and now in index plus plus we will give what index plus equal to now we will display the character is z w h this way mm, see so this way means it's time the value of the index is incremented by 2 first time it was index was 0 next time 0 plus 2 it is 2 and so on so for today this much only in next video we are going to learn how can reverse how we can store the reverse element of an arrow in, array in a new variable new character variable also we will run palindrome program where we will compare a character with its reverse one if it is matching then it will be palindrome if it is not matched then it is not palindrome i hope you have understood this this part thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye